Okay, hopefully this is the last part, because it's going to be crazy if this is longer than some people's, uh... I smell rabbit. Some people's story quest. Hey, what is up, sir? I know you're There's hiding a tent something. That the villagers occasionally use to rest. Like I said, it's a bit simple, yes, but I hope you won't mind. I mean, I won't mind. I'm pretty sure, madam, I was stuck in a temple for 100 years. Won't mind either. <sighs> this is quite far away. Are they trying to prevent the villagers from eavesdropping on them? Yeah. This suits us just fine, though. This way, they won't overhear our conversations either. Mm. Now, I have my suspicions about this archaeological expedition team and that machine wreckage. I only caught a quick glimpse, and it was from a distance. Uh-huh. But based on the condition of the armor and joints, it didn't seem like something that had been lying around for centuries. At most, I'd estimate that it only stopped moving about a dozen years ago. A dozen years ago? Yes. The timing coincides with the spreading of the legend. Now, assuming that it really is the Ruin Wanderer, how do you suppose it was able to maintain a relatively good condition despite high-intensity operation over the course of several decades? The restitution module. That's right. Technically speaking, oh. the module shouldn't be able to move such a large machine chassis. However, I'm basing my knowledge on the mechanical life forms I've seen before. You've seen such life forms before? You've encountered other others besides Karkata? Well, this was over a hundred years ago. It was a machine about the same size as Karkata, actually. It couldn't carry heavy objects or fight, and was only able to help me record some notes. It also helped me deliver letters home. I found it near the desert, which is why I wondered if there might be more restitution modules buried around here. A mechanical life form from a hundred years ago, is it no longer around? Honestly, people in ancient times might have already solved the problem of providing enough power for all I know. I'll need to research this properly. I mean they did, but then they got nuked by, by Celestia for being too self-sufficient. Why didn't you go and investigate earlier? Had I confronted Raid right there and then, he would have said that he couldn't tell that the machine was special. Then he'd just hand it over to the Academia obediently. And he'd get away scot-free. If the wreckage were to be handed to the Academia, it'd be much tougher for us to do research on it or get spare parts for Karkata. <sighs> anyway, we should figure out what they're planning before making our next move. Okay. They insisted that we should stay the night, which means if they're trying to pull a fast one on us, they're likely to try tonight. We must be vigilant. They're doing it right now, probably. As the night goes on, you hear faint sounds in the distance. Are those sounds coming from the excavation site? <laughs> I knew they wouldn't be able to wait. They must be scared that we might discover something tomorrow. Yeah. Not a single person guarding the campsite. This must be quite the manpower expenditure. I'll see if they left any clues behind at their camp. Keep watch and help me stall them if it comes to that, would you? Stall them with violence. Alright. I'm counting on you. No problem. I was supposed to say no problem. Anyway. Um, come on, Razor. Woof, woof, bark, bark. <laughs> oh, JK. I love Razor. Oops. That is not the way. Hey guys, what you doing? I was sleeping and then I heard this racket and then I saw you guys here. So I came over. The tent here yet? We need to switch it out tonight. Mm. It's still on the way. I'm afraid this is the first time we're delivering such a huge one. <sighs> you good for nothings are just a load of trouble, aren't you? We wouldn't have to deal with these interlopers if you had kept those lips of yours from flapping. Hurry up and hide our current tent and deliver the new one to me tonight, no matter what it takes. Huh? Who's there? It's me, Zeno. <laughs> oh my god, this game is aware of me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm just a bit upset because my subordinates aren't doing their jobs properly. Uh, when did you get here? What's the tent you mentioned, if I might ask? What's this delivery I hear you're having trouble with? Ah, it's nothing. Just a tent. We didn't pack up all our tents from the last campsite. Some of them, along with a few people, have been left there. Left people? 
Someone damaged our current tent, so I'm trying to get my subordinates to get one from that previous campsite delivered here. And you're discussing that over here because... The relics in the ruins are highly valuable, so I'm worried that treasure hoarders and bandits might try to steal them. Since the tent isn't here yet and I can't fall asleep, I came here to patrol. There are people who'd steal these relics? <laughs> Well, these things are antiques after all. There will always be people interested in buying them. I hired so many people precisely because I was worried about that happening. Uh... Speaking of which, I'd like to ask, is the Academia really aware that you've traversed through the desert to come here in the middle of the night? It's not the middle of the... I didn't come here in the middle of the night, sir. I came here in the afternoon. Also, where's Farazan? Why isn't she with you? She's sleeping. I'm right here. Also, you forgot to address me as madam. Oh my god, her her heels are completely in the sand. <laughs> mm, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> madam Faruzan. You were all making so much noise that I couldn't sleep, which is why I got the traveler to find out what was going on. But for some reason, that one task took forever. So I came to check in on the situation. Ah, I'm very sorry for disturbing your rest. I'll tell my subordinates to be quieter on patrol. Uh-huh. Good. Come on, traveler. Let's head back. We're heading back already? Yes. We came to check out the situation, didn't we? Well, we've already done that. We should get better rest so that we'll have energy to investigate tomorrow. Okay. What? W was I supposed to notice something? Was I mistaken? Oh my god, my my brain holes are not working. Ah, uh, uh, sorry for disturbing your rest. I'll tell my subordinates to be quieter in the future. I, yeah, sussy baka. You guys talk? No. You talk? No. All right, I'm gonna go back. Peace. Oops. Razor, break these. You're doing great, honey. Ah, I love Razor so much. If only I could get the Wolf Grave Stone. Thanks for dealing with them. Yeah. Now, I found something good on my end. These are the excavation records from their campsite. You just swiped them? According to them, the ruins have been raided before, with numerous traps and contraptions having already been triggered. I also observed the wreckage up close earlier. The weathering is nowhere near as extensive as on the relics that have been buried for over a hundred years. Okay. There's no doubt that the wreckage in the ruins don't belong to the same era. Instead, it must have wandered into the ruins about a dozen years ago. It could have fallen into a trap or encountered a glitch within the ruins, remaining stationary like that until it was discovered recently. However, I still don't know why they'd want to hide it. Huh? I have no doubt that the researcher could definitely reach the same conclusion I did. The last few pages of the excavation records are written in code, which I still need time to decipher. The answer may lie within those pages. You can decipher coded messages? Aether, Haravatat, language, come on. <laughs> it's just wordplay. But if anything, that's my wheelhouse. Yeah. Arzan gets to work deciphering the code. Hmm. Just a bit more. Ah. I see now. Help! Please! Oh, help! crap. Why are you running away? Come back! Protect me! Okay, so there is fighting in this What's one. That sound? Is it? Uh The Ruin Wanderer? Reactivated? That's impossible! Is this the work of some kind of hidden mechanism? Never mind. We have to focus on saving lives first. I'll cover them. You go stall the Ruin Wanderer. Yeah, sure. Oh. What? It ignited! 
ignored the traveler? Why is he chasing after us? It's because you got something of it. What could have caused it to reactivate? And to give chase? Darn it! Hey, come on, you lot! It's clear that we can't escape, so let's just attack it! Oh, crap. Oh. What the? <sighs> what the? Okay, I have no idea what's happening it, right now. It stopped? Hey, you guys, get up there and tell me what's going on. But what if it suddenly moves? You, you good for nothings. Why is everyone I hired so useless? Damn. Move. I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. <sighs> Looks like this thing's parts can't handle the load of functioning anymore after years of disrepair. <sighs> When it first reactivated, I was wondering if it'd be as amazing as the legends had pegged it to be. I didn't expect it to be so much weaker than it looks. How disappointing. Okay. Disappointing, you say? Now is that because you won't be able to sell it for much? Damn. Uh, Farusan, you may be my senior as an academia researcher, but that doesn't mean you get to slander me. You wrote these excavation records, did you not? Or perhaps calling it a ledger might jog your memory a bit better. Ah, uh, I... I don't recognize that thing. Mm. <clears throat> January 3rd, excavated five tents. January 5th, three tents sold. <laughs> January 10th, one special tent pre-sold. It must quickly be switched out with an old tent. So, Tent is your code name for relics? You're supposed to be an archaeological expedition team, and yet here you are, secretly selling the relics and profiting from it. When you believed that you had found the wreckage of the ruined wanderer, you tried to switch in wreckage that you had excavated previously to pull the wool over the academia's eyes. After all, there would probably be many wealthy buyers interested in purchasing the legendary ruined wanderer in the black market, yes? And then we arrived, just before you could finish your work. That forced you to speed up your plan and you tried to complete the switch overnight before I could investigate the wreckage. <laughs> In your haste, however, you accidentally activated the Ruined Wanderer instead. Did I get that all right? I... I don't know what you're talking about. Uh... You lack the curiosity befitting a man of knowledge, nor do you have respect for mechanical life forms. You're not fit to be a researcher. Damn. Ridiculous. Curiosity, respect. I'm not here to hear you preach. Hey, we're leaving. Mr. Aid. Behind you? Oh, shit. Dude, you're gonna get your shit pushed in. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, I didn't want him to actually die, though. Why is it moving again? Run! Did he get fucked up? Huh? Farzan, watch out! <gasps> Some said that it was like a giant, while others said that it was like a beast. However, none knew why it wandered the ruins. Technically speaking, the module shouldn't be able to move such a large machine chassis. However, I'm basing my knowledge on the mechanical life forms I've seen before. Uh huh. Centuries? Impossible. I heard nothing about it back then. It could only have been around for a few decades at most. Why is it chasing after us? So you've been looking for me this whole time? What? Oh. That's the machine that helped her when she was stuck in that hundred year crowd. Oh. What? Long time no see to Mimi. Oh my god. Hey, oh uh, dear Madame Farazan, the notes and manuscripts we found on Tamimi have been transcribed and organized, and every one of them has been marked with your name. 
I hope that even after a hundred years, future generations of students will still remember your name, Madam Farazan. The off corrected. I told you not to. Now look. So many people worried, even Tamimi. The messy scribbling has been repeatedly cancelled and edited, leaving barely legible phrases in a single neat message at the back. Hurry up and come home for a meal. Your mom always makes an extra portion of food, you know. Damn, that sucks. Jesus Christ. Dear Madam Farazan, the notes and manuscripts we found on Tamimi have been transcribed in- Oh, okay. Oh, I read this one. Yellow note. Tamimi's remodeling is going smoothly. As it is now, it can learn how to deal with various dangerous situations in the ruins on its own. I wish you could see it with your own eyes. As I worked, I kept thinking that you'd do a better job at this than I could. After all, you're the most exceptional student I've ever met. Uh. To you in a hundred years. Oh. Dear Farazan, I hope you're doing well. It has been over 20 years since you went missing. People from the academia keep telling us to give up and that you're most likely dead. But somehow, I feel like you're still alive. Yes, that you live still in some corner of this world. Oh. You've always been persistent, able to shine no matter what situation you face. I believe that this persistence serves you well in surviving and finding your way home. Unfortunately, I likely won't be able to welcome you home when you do. I don't have much time left and my reflexes have slowed. Others keep telling me to stop exploring ruins. Oh God. Only Tamimi is still the same as before, always running off to places which you've been to. Your teacher and friends came up with an idea to remodel Tamimi so it can search for you in our place. Oh. You didn't like coming home back then and would always get Tamimi to send a letter back. Now we're leaving a letter with Tamimi. I wonder if it'll ever be delivered to you. I don't know the answer to that question, but if you ever read this letter, I hope it'll be when you've already found your way home. I regret not being able to say this to you myself, but, but I'll, I'll still feel sincerely happy for you, you my dear daughter. What the hecky wecky? E young mama, bro, your mommy? Welcome home, Farozan. Damn. Bro, this sucks. Yeah, the implications of living a hundred years. Yeah. Living a hundred years, and then when you come back, and everybody you know is dead. Look at you, Tamimi. You've changed so much after all these years. Thank you for waiting for me all this time. I've safely received the letters. Your work is done now. You can sleep. Oh, do that's to Mimi, the mechanical life form I encountered back then. When I would go on expeditions, it would follow me, take notes for me, and send my letters home. When I met with that accident, it was on the way to deliver a letter for me. I I once thought that I'd never get to see it again. Bro! I didn't expect my teacher and others to remodel its self-repair function, upgrading it to self-learning. And so, in order to plumb the depths of unknown ruins and overcome dangerous traps, it repaired and modified itself using parts it found along the way. One decade of wandering became many, and soon... Tamimi, which used to be incapable of even moving heavy objects, became the Ruin Wanderer. All so I could deliver these last letters from them to me. Even though they had all passed on, they still prayed for your safe return. Oh. 
The strain to support such a huge body must have turned out to be too much for your heart, right? A Mimi? Even after the remodeling, its restitution module still can't function perfectly in perpetuity. It has been pushing itself beyond its limits over the past few decades. Just like a living being, mechanical life forms have a limited lifespan. It probably became trapped in the ruins all those years ago because its shelf life had run out. It most likely only reactivated because it detected my presence. And then it mustered up everything it had to deliver that last letter. Now, it can finally rest in peace. Damn, Ripper Rune. I'm glad they got to see each other one last time, though. Tainari told you what happened to me, right? I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. It's not like this incident is a secret in the Academia. Uh-huh. Besides, I've always treated it as a failed experiment. As a researcher, I must accept this result. However, finding out that so many people were affected by my failure does make me feel somewhat conflicted. Can you head back to Pardis DI first? We've been here for a while, and it's best not to make Kale and the rest worry. As for me, I want to stay with Tamimi for a bit longer. Just a bit. Yeah, Farazan. Don't worry about it. Farazan's head hangs low in silence. The desert breeds gales of wind, and the only sound that can be heard in the scattering rise of spreading. That's heavy. It's basically reverse abatur and turn. Huh? You're back! How was your journey through the desert? Wait, where's Madame Faruzan? Uh, um, it's, uh, it's kinda... Tell the whole truth. Keep Tamimi a secret. Tell the whole truth. You tell everyone everything that happened in the desert. She finally got to reunite with an old friend from a hundred years ago, but... As a researcher, she could perhaps accept it. However, as a friend, a student, and a daughter... We should give her some time. Let's just wait for her here. Yeah, man. Uh. And in the future, I hope that we can be here to support her. As her new friends. Yep. Oh my. Wait until one day later, huh? Dang. I thought that you go.
welcoming party. Wow. We've all been waiting for you, Madam Farazan. Mm -hmm. That's more like it. Now, here are some components I brought back from the desert. Switch these out with the ones Karkata is using right now, and it'll be back in ship shape. Um... Huh? Why do you all look so solemn? Come now. Liveliness befits youngsters more. Madam Farazan, did these parts come from... <laughs> Come now. I thought that you must have encountered some major problem. This isn't something you have to worry about. What? Well, it looks like you already know everything. But no need to feel bad. Like I said before, as researchers, we must learn to accept our failures. Tamimi had been operating beyond capacity for a century, and I'm unable to repair it with my current abilities. Not even with these parts. It would thus be much better to use them to extend Karkata's lifespan. Hear that, everybody? Become an organ donor. Which is true. You should. Everybody should be an organ donor. As a senior, it is only right that I do something for the people who come after me. That holds true for both researchers and machines. Besides, I didn't say that I would be giving you these parts for free. They will only be used for Karkata temporarily. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to help me with my research. Okay. I'll be sure to revive Tamimi once I've fully deciphered and replicated the creations of the ancient civilization. Whoa. All right. I'll do my best to help. Me too. Although, I'm not sure if I'll be much help. I'll help too. I'll help too. Thank you. If they could remodel Tamimi successfully even back then, there's no reason why we won't be able to do even better. Okay. And when that day comes, I'll be sure to say, Welcome home, Tamimi. Aww. New friends, a new life, a new beginning. Aww. It's nice. Okay, so there's one more strand left. I'm not entirely sure where the split is. That was a whole lot of Noel, so oh my god. Uh time to decide. Oh Okay. I guess I could just say, not tell the truth. How is your journey through the desert? Wait, where's Madame Farozan? Mm hmm. Keep Tamimi a secret. You tell everyone the partial truth. So Madame Farozan has some other things to settle. Alright. And to think that Rayid was doing all of those things on the sly. It's good that you all got out of that situation in one piece. Madame Farazan will be able to repair Karkata when she gets back, won't she? Damn. Currently, only Farazan and I know about Tamimi. I should let Farazan decide whether she, whether to tell the others about Tamimi. Wait until- oh my god. <laughs> Alright. We're in a samsara, boys. I just realized this is a I'm samsara. Back. What? Is there to be no welcoming party? Madam Farzan, we're over here. That's more like it. Oh. Now, here are some components I brought back from the desert. Switch these out with the ones Karkata is using right now, and it'll be back in ship shape. So this is a relic of an ancient civilization? Unbelievable. Thankfully, it didn't end up in Rayid's unscrupulous hands. Unscrupulous, huh? Hmm. Sounds like you already told them what happened. 
I told them about Raid. I told them about the archaeology. Is that so? Thank you. We will talk about everything else later. It's nothing. I've already given all the evidence we have against Raid to the Academia. They're going to be very busy. Too busy to bother us, I'd wager. Oh. I'll start repairing Karkata then. Kale, can you help me out? <sighs> of course! After some repairs, Karkata springs back to life. Oh, hey. oh. It looks fine, but even so, it needs to properly rest up. True. Oh. Hey, Tegnari, what's up? Faruzan went out after repairing Karkata. She seems to be looking for you for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder why. Well, I will not probe any further. However, if you need any help, do feel free to ask. Oh yeah, Tegnari's pretty perceptive. Like, he'll know, but he won't probe. Karkata, oh, oh baby, so good. I'm so happy. But not happy about Tamimi, damn. Ah, you're here. Hi. Thank you for keeping Tamimi a secret. You don't plan on telling them? If I tell them about Tamimi, will they still feel happy for Karkata? Even if we could convince them to accept the components, they'll probably still feel bad about it. My god. I don't want my past to affect people in the present. That applies to both me and other people. You don't have to shoulder all this alone. Maybe you'll feel better if you share it with the rest. It's fine. I'm used to this. Damn! Oh my god. <laughs> me for real. <laughs> I once believed that I'd never hear from my old friends and family ever again. Even their faces are getting hazier in my memories. However... I could remember them clearly again after reading the letter Tamimi handed to me and learning that they'd never given up on me. That's more than enough. I'd be disappointing them if I let myself fall into a slump because of this. Neither my teacher nor my mother would have wanted to see me like that. That's true. Besides, you're lending a listening ear to me now, aren't you? Oh. Oh. Pardius DI looks pretty scenic at night. Will you take a stroll with me? It would be my pleasure, Madam Faruzan. Once Karkata's condition stabilizes, I'll find a chance to tell Tainari and Kale about all that. But for now, just help me keep the secret. Okay, you got it. Thank you. <laughs> Whether it's a hundred years ago or now, I have people who worry about me. I suppose I should consider myself quite fortunate. That's a the only nice time scene. when I felt otherwise was when I had just returned to Sumeru. No one came to check up on me then. <sighs> Damn. Ripper Rooney. Welcome home, Faruzan. Oh, dude. Oh, shoot. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, I'm, I'm tearing up a little bit. <sighs> I'm home. Aww. Good. That one hurt. Welcome back, Farozan. Where once she was adrift on the sea of time, she has found her home shore once again. Oh. Well, just one more thing to do before I get all the rewards. Not doing that yet. Wait. Wait. Not this one. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta do this. Uh... Yeah. 
you know that there are always at least achievements for every hangout event. Or like three, I mean. The third one would be the one where you would get all the endings, but there's two like hidden achievements. Madam Farazan! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm right. gonna skip this. After all. <laughs> oh my god. Now we've been Oh my expected. god, filthy dialogue Students skipper. Never had to deal with if you join the That's enough. I <sighs> all That's a go. I have to I I I looked it up. Oh I cheated. But apparently you need to get the right answer for the number of times that you um the number of steps that you can take. So I'm just gonna real quickie. Mom do the, the one okay, oh, I'm uh, here, yes. I'm here. Yes, uh, it's one. her. We've made many yep. early uh -huh. but if they're too early so learning. Design, mm -hmm. I remember that. The construction yes. but now yep. you have an Simple, idea. yes. Yes, sketch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yep. You're Yep, yep, show me. Uh -huh. Let me explain. Mm -hmm. These papers yes. well, for babies. Um, babies. Of course. When it's like building. Hmm. That sounds way. Give it a try and. It's such a. Mandu, let's. Uh huh. Okay, 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 okay. You called okay. it. It doesn't look. Come on, we all promised uh -huh. to help Mr. Mandu test out the new toy. Uh huh. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> this child is like. Arr. Done. I'm so hey, angry. <laughs> Not bad. Good then children. Wait. Well, since we're an extra. Is this what it feels like what to be a on? lore skipper? <laughs> Dialogue Done. skipper. What? This pagoda's good. Is this what it feels Mom, like? You? We've to not care about the story. Madam Fires, you are looking at it. I. If you want to test, it. got it. Ah. We don't have enough paper. Just about, Why don't you yes. guess what the lowest number of steps needed it's to solve the seven-layer pagoda stack is? It's like when you're in the samsara and then they're like, Oh, wh wh which, 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 which candy box is the Sunsetia flavored Yalda candies? And then you're like, four, 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 four. Oh my god. 127. Oh, color me impressed. You figured it out so quickly. I let's just say that I have my ways, you know, my brain is just so huge. It's sixty gigabytes huge. That's that's this game size, okay? Let's see how well they do then. Okay, I'm just gonna skip this. If I move this small uh -huh, I uh -huh. I'm just gonna walk Hmm. <gasps> That m for every extra, more accurately, the complex. Oh, I see. I see. That's I right. see. I see. I can spend That's right. Once that happens, do you have? Yeah. Uh, of course. Two days should be enough for us to find more volunteer. You'd be. M thank you for coming here. Okay, I got it, right? Oh, thank God. Very good. Yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna leave it there. Okay, now I'm gonna get these. Yep, claim that. Claim that. Uh huh. Yep. Good, good. And then. Achievements. I got. Yep. I finished all of them. Read all the letters sent to Faruzan and correctly guess the smallest number of moves. Look at this hangout. This hangout queen. <laughs> um, I'm good. That's all. Nice. I'm glad I got to learn more about Faruzan. Okay. Bye.